<sighs> okay, let's do this. Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original series, Delhi Crime. Delhi Crime is basically taken from case files from India from one of the most horrific cases about a young couple that bought a bus. A, the, a woman is brutally physically assaulted through rape and the whole thing is just really horrible and I don't want to go into the details because it through the seven episodes of this Netflix series they tell you about it and the story so I don't want to give too much away not that there is too many spoilers to give away but basically it's about this one really brutal case that kind of rocked India to its core as far as I'm aware, is based on these case files. So I think it has an air of authenticity to it. So let's get into the review. So I wasn't sure which Netflix series uh, to review first. It's Friday and they've dropped and I normally review a bunch. There's Daily Crime and the season two of OA, which I'm looking forward to. And I will be doing a review for that coming out in the next 24 hours. But I jumped first at Daily Crime because I love what Netflix is doing with shows that aren't necessarily um, that I'm used to. So we've had The Protector, we've had Diablero, we had Sacred Games, and I thought those were all excellent. I was interested to see what Netflix would do with this quite heavy case. So first, I should say it's seven episodes and each episode is about an hour long. The first episode is over an hour long and it kind of sets the tone for what you expect. So they show the, they don't actually show the assault, they show what happens before and after. And I have to say I was gripped from the beginning and emotionally invested because of what happens to this young lady. You get to see the after effects and through the story of this first episode, you get a sense of the effect that this is going to have, have not just on her or her partner that was attacked, but on the city. And through each episode, it becomes this big political kind of agenda and mess between the various police forces that are involved there's one particular police force that wants to take control of, the, of this mess and others that don't want to be involved because of how messy it is and throughout each episode you get to see them try to track down the six guys that were involved in this assault and so the story kind of goes one way as they're tracking down one character and it goes another way and you get to follow that and i think it's all filmed beautifully but what i was most impressed with was how well this show is put together it's a really hard subject to talk about this this whole thing makes you it gives you a feeling inside your tummy inside your tummy and it gave me a feeling inside my stomach where I was just kind of feeling sick in moments because it, it's really heavy so each episode you go along this story as they try to catch these guys but you get to see how it really affects the city and I think this is told really well through the actors that are the leads some fantastic female leads and male leads I thought every bit of acting from these these actors was incredible it's insanity if you don't enjoy watching dubbed then maybe watch this in the original the dubbing is good and i feel like they've done it well but it does take some of the emotion behind the actors that the actors are trying to portray so when you're watching the dubbing you do lose something but when you're watching and subbed i feel like because you're getting the actors original voices you get what they're trying to portray on screen so i watched one episode for about half an hour um with the dubbing and i felt like oh i'm missing something here and then i switched over to the subtitles and yeah i was totally engaged the look the cinematography, the sound, the scoring, all of that is done really well. There are some particular shots that I was really impressed by, the, some of the editing. The pacing was done fantastic. There's a, a, a music sequence that goes from one shot to the next. It, one guy's listening to it on the radio and then the next it's the same song is playing in another part of that sequence. And I just really appreciate the kind of the editing sequence and the pacing sometimes you just don't get that in certain series and you feel like they haven't really given their all but in this i just felt like everything worked and i feel like this is something they needed to get right if you were need to be emotionally engaged with these characters and the story then this is something that you need to get right the cinematography to tell the story visually if she was my girlfriend i would have died for her through the emotions of the characters and the acting and the score. And I think it has, they've, they've done it really well. This is an excellent story. I would put this amongst some of the BBC stories I've seen here recently, one called The Night Manager. I was riveted by that. And I would say as equal quality, this, this is something that you shouldn't miss. Although the story is hard, 
and it's hard to hear. I think this is excellent quality in acting and TV. Now, I know there's probably going to be some people that are really affected by this or are saying that maybe there is some propaganda behind the storytelling. I don't know if that's true. I can only judge by what I've seen from this series. And so far, I thought, wow, this is some of the best TV and acting I've seen definitely coming from India. I love everything that's coming out from India and this story, although is really tough to watch, I think is at the top of its game. Some of the actors bring their A game. There were moments from some of the leads where they were being affected in their personal lives by what was happening, by the case they were kind of controlling and continuing to go through day in, day out, not getting a rest because they need to get this case done. And there were moments I was so engaged that I remember sitting like forward on my couch and going, Oh, what's going to happen? I was so there with them. And I think that just speaks to the quality of this show. If you get a chance and if you're not easily affected, because I did have to go watch some Simpsons afterwards because this did affect me. It's heavy and it doesn't kind of lighten up. There are a couple of mood lifters in dialogue, but most of the time the score and the sound and the, the, the dialogue of what's happening in the story is just heavy. And I think it should be. There is at no point a time when you could just kind of drift away and try and make it lighter because the subject matter is so tough. But I do think this is one you should watch. It's really told well and I think they've done it justice. I'm going to give Daily Crime an A. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this story. Let me know if you maybe live in India and you know more about this. I'm interested in the the case itself. I'm hoping they've done it justice. Thank you so much for watching this review of Daily Crime. I've kind of rambled around what I thought about it. I hope you found it in, a little informative. Uh, but I look forward to chatting to you in the comments below. Look out for my other reviews coming out this weekend. One is the OA uh, season two. I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.